Do you think we're all cognizant of the fact of what George Brett really, really was as a ball player back then? I mean, they don't make him like this guy anymore, Denny. Do no, they? Not many. I mean, you don't it's see not, him. No, you're right. I, I think people understand that. I think it's still current enough, and I think the young people probably now with all the video that's available can appreciate if they go back and look at some of the games that he played and some of the records that he achieved, I think they have an understanding of that. True baseball fans says, well, that's a pretty good career. And what I appreciate most about his career was the hard work that he put in. He and Charlie Loud down there on that field, the, remember the artificial sure. turf and how yeah. hot that got? 120 oh, degrees, yeah, whatever. At, at yeah. least, yeah. And they're out there at 2 in the afternoon and they're breaking down his swing and building up the swing that got him to Cooperstown. But I mean, hard, hard work. And defensively, he wasn't exactly a defensive wizard when he hit the big league level. No. He had no. to work on his defense. Yeah. And that's what I admire most about him and the way he played the game. It was all out every night, great concentration, win, lose, rained out. He was in the game mentally, emotionally, and physically. Best ball player you ever covered then? Well, I'm prejudiced, but I'll say yes. And there's so many that have really sparked my imagination through the years. but. Yeah, I'm sure. People say, best player you ever saw. Yeah, George Brett. And I'll think of the others. And there are guys who were as accomplished, let's put it that way. But yeah, just watching George offensively, defensively, running the bases for six months, 162 games, that was a, that was a treat.